we went to Europe, we looked around at a bunch of wet, more welfare friendly farms, came home, tore down the factory farm and built an all brand new, completely welfare friendly farm that you will see. <clears throat> the natural or antibiotic free as they called it at that time was just in its infancy, so we pulled all the drugs out of our rations, went to Des Moines, Iowa, opened up our own store. Evolved into a meat market and bakery of all things. <clears throat> and about are no antibiotics or growth promotants ever. So underline that type of thing because we use nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing by any way, shape, or form. One of our competitors is out there advertising, we don't feed our livestock antibiotics. Nobody in the Midwest feeds antibiotics anymore. Vegetarian fed, so we do not use any animal by proteins whatsoever. No ractopamine or paline, that's a steroid basically for livestock. You feed it the last 30 days in a pig's life and his muscles just explode. They get huge and the problem is it's all lean, no fat. Now what really separates us today, and when we build our welfare friendly farm and the big buzzword today, is no gestation crates. Because the sows are free to walk on bedding, don't hurt their legs, large social group, that type of thing. So it's a that farm is unlike any other farm in the entire United States. There's some people out there doing it on a small scale basis, but we're kind of big thinkers. We wanted to see it, see if we could do it on a grand scale. And believe me, the first couple of years we thought, oh boy, what did we bite into? The tuition was pretty expensive, but we did finally figure it out. Also on our farm, we do not even use farrowing crates. Farrowing crate is after she goes from that gestation crate, she goes right into another room in a farrowing crate, same size. But when she gives birth, because she is so confined, the baby pigs can get away. We have what we call maternity boxes, where mama can still get up, turn around, and lay down in full recumbency without being hurt. And then, of course, we have the outdoor access. <clears throat> so that's what we do. That's kind of a synopsis of our farm. We've also started another line of no non-GMO diets. There's a million different companies out there right now saying they're selling natural pork. You're going to go into a chef and he says, I'm buying natural pork. USDA's definition of natural is just minimally processed, no artificial ingredients. Every animal in the country qualifies for it. So while we were in Europe looking at farms, we ran across a specific line of Duroc in the country of Denmark. And God loved the Danish people because while everybody else was going lean, they said, you got to keep some flavor in. We talked about competitors, Nyman Ranch being one of them. You will run into some other companies out promoting a Duroc pork, okay? But they're all American. Yeah. Every single other Duroc company out there is promoting American Duroc. While it is better than the industry crossbred pork, it's still not as good as ours because it's American. That specific line into the United States to use on our farms exclusively. It takes our pigs about an extra month to get to market weight than it does factory farm pigs because they're using growth promoters. They don't use so many antibiotics anymore, but they do use growth promoters, and we don't use any. Um, in Arizona, specifically, um, really, Nyman Ranch is probably going to be what is your closest competitor as far as. They are a never ever program, just like we are. Um, they get into some of the animal welfare things there. Two things happen there. One, they don't own all their pigs, like we do. And another, meat distributor has tried to sub in Nyman's. And then they've called us and said, how come we didn't get yours, yours? You know, we can serve 20 people and the eye of the loins the same. So this is the same thing. A, ours is gonna be more economical. And, have you ever had any issues with inconsistency? There is one chef out there that'll tell you no. As soon as they put on the menu, don't just advertise a double bone French pork chop. Put double bone Beeler's Farm pork chop. They can raise the price of it on their menu by five bucks. All of our products are uncured, which USDA requires when you don't add sodium nitrite or nitrites you have to call it uncured. Still fully cooked smoked. So all of our bacon, sausages, hams are fully cooked. We're not the biggest by any means, but we are the best. And I will put our product up against any other pork company in the entire United States.